try to get all that on the video so if anybody's wondering how to dock there and where to go we'll, we'll, we'll try to show that for you As you can see, we were docked on the upside of the current. And when you do that, it pulls the boat into the dock and you can tie off and makes it much easier. But these folks over here, and we don't know them, he was trying to dock on the, on the back side of the current and it makes it really difficult unless you practice a lot. So if you find yourself in this situation, the best thing to do is pull in or back in get one corner and get somebody to throw a rope to the cleat and hold one side and then use your motor to uh, force the other end of the boat into the dock and then tie off. It makes it a little more difficult, but you can do it. If you travel by car, on the parking. That's a sign. shrimp in it and you can see it has cheese lettuce some um, kind of like a mango salsa too they're very good we definitely devoured our food it was great food great drinks and along with the restaurant they also have this cool little bar we're ready to take off time to go home but we had a good meal at Crab Catchers. All right, back at the uh, marina. Let's see if she can dock it. I said I'm gonna try, but I don't know. She's gonna try to dock it. Okay, we are back at the marina and we are docked and we were docked by me. I wish Matt had videoed it, but he was busy giving me instruction. Although I did not need his instruction because I pretty much docked it all by myself. He didn't jump in or anything. So next time I'll show you docking it by myself so that you can see the proof. Um, but anyways, we had a good time tonight and we will see you next time.